archers ready. Strike. Step. Step. Whoa. Good. Get him up. Hold. All right. Bennett, chief wants to see you. Attackers. Strike. Strike. Step. Throw. Come in. Marshal. Good afternoon, sir. Take a seat. Thank you, sir. How you been? Fine, sir. How old are you? 26, sir. Born and raised in New England? Used to the country? Yes, sir. We're gonna send you back. Brickman. Lance Parker III. Member of the Honor Society, President of the Debate Squad, Captain of the Cross Team. He was your all-American boy. Murdered. Stabbed to death in a shower. He was a college student? Arlington University, Fairsdale, Maine. The local cops turned up nothing. That's where we come in. They recently started receiving phone calls from a guy who claims he witnessed the murder. Here's a piece of the last one. Why haven't you done anything yet? Break's almost over. I have to go back and live there. Son, listen, slow down. We can't do anything without more information from you. Now, where do you live? I live on the wing where Lance died. I saw who did it. Okay, we know that. Just tell us who it was. It, it doesn't make any sense. We're getting pressure from all sides on this one, Marshal. The parents, the university, everybody wants this case closed. You'll be working undercover. Spring semester starts tomorrow. You're sending me back to college. Here's your class list. Poetry. There'll be a suspect in each one of those classes. You'll be working with Roland Spencer. He's the best field investigator we've got. Pearson Phillips will drop you off at Arlington tomorrow, posing as your parents. You're gonna have to lose the beard. Well, son, you finally made it. Didn't think you'd get to college being so stupid and all. Oh, thanks, Dad. Son, you're the first one from our little family to make it to college to do us proud, huh? Oh, gee whiz, Mom. I get to squeeze the life right out of you. Uh -huh. Give us a call when you get settled in. I will. Marshal. Good luck. You'll be living on the fourth floor, room 401, the victim's room. This is a master key for all the rooms on the floor. The university won't let you get in anybody else's room, so use it at your discretion. So, how does it feel to be in college? Well, I don't know. It really hasn't sunk in yet. We always knew you'd make it to college, Jacob. You're so smart. Hasn't been a Johnson yet that hasn't attended this university. Well, this must be the lucky roommate. Hi, Marshal Bennett. Well, Marshal, what will you be studying here? Oh, uh, actually, I'm undecided. Well, undecided won't get you very far in the real world. Well, it's gotten me here. Hi, I'm Jacob. Hi. Your roommate will be Jacob Johnson. Is he a suspect? You got nothing to worry about with this kid. He wasn't even enrolled at the university at the time of the murder. I put everything on this side of the room, but if we want to move it, that's OK with me. That's my little boy. Always fair. Uh, no, that should be fine. Thanks. Oh, excuse me. Jacob, I want you to take this. It's just a little fun money. That's all right, Dad. I'll be OK. Oh, come on. I remember what it's like to be young. You gotta have fun once in a while. Take that, and you and Marshall can paint the town. Maybe meet some young fillies, huh? <laughs> Just don't let it affect your studies. Dad, I'm in college now. Just because you're in college doesn't mean you'll study. You know, you can take a clown to the symphony, but you can't keep him from honking his horn. Well, we'd better get going. Yes, let's leave these two alone. One last picture before we go. All right, Mom. You two squeeze together. Come all on, right, Marshall. all right. Get in there. Say cheese. Cheese. 
Now, Jacob, you give us a call when you get settled in, all right? All right, Mom. Son, study hard. Make me proud. I will, Dad. Now, Marshall, we live right in town, so if you ever want a home-cooked meal, you just give us a call. Thank you. Bye, boys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. Bye, Mom. Bye, Dad. Bye-bye. I'm really sorry about that, Marshall. Do you like my hands? Right, come in. Stranger. Stranger still. Moving quietly through the thickening crowd. Always alone, like a stone in the stream. You sow the mystery and cultivate the myth. I look at you and I know who you are. Do you know me? Wow! That was even better than mine, Summer. Hi, I'm Summer. Marshall Bennett. Summer X, originally Summer McConnell. Minor police record, demonstrations, misdemeanors. Claims she attended a performance on campus the night of the murder. No known motive. Nice to meet you, Marshall Bennett. Have you met anyone yet? Uh, no, I haven't, but I have a feeling I'm about to. Wow. Look, I told you guys, no hall sports. yoo -hoo. Anybody home? Hey. Hey. Uh, Cole, this is Marshall Bennett. He's new on our wing. Aren't you lucky? Cole Brady, acting major. He was in a performance the night in question. It was never confirmed that he was on stage when we estimate the murder took place. So, uh, you haven't moved in yet, huh? I'll get around to it. Well, I guess I'll show you my room. Okay. See you later. Later. Yeah, what's up? Documented for this, misters. You can pick your ball up at the end of the year. Where do you guys live? Hey, I saw you guys. This is my room, and this is my roommate, Christian. Christian, this is Marshall. It's a pleasure. Rickman, Christian, younger sister to the deceased, economics major, stands to inherit a sizable amount as sole heir. Says she was studying in a room alone on the night of the murder. He's living in 401. Oh, lucky you. Well, let's forge on. Summer, why is everyone saying I should feel lucky? Well, her brother lived in your room and was killed last semester. Was he murdered in the room? No. Oh, hi, Summer. Hi. Who's that? Janice Boardwell, psychology major, senior. Police confirmed she was working at the hospital the evening Lance was killed. No known motive. Hey, Clayton. This is Marshall, and he's rooming with Jacob. Oh, nice to meet you, Marshall. Clayton Ross, first year student, claims he and his roommate were both asleep in their room during the murder. Where's Charlie? I don't know, maybe he's in the study lounge. Clayton's such a nice guy and I like him. Who lives there? Uh, that's where Robert Hughes lives, but we never see too much of him. Robert Hughes was also working that night. No known motive. We don't know much about this guy. There's Charlie. He's really shy, not much of a talker. Charlie Levesque, Clayton's roommate. Same alibi, no motive. I think you're really gonna like it here. Yeah, I think so. Summer, phone! Oh, gotta go. See you later. Bye. This is your resident manual, outlining the rules and regulations to this hall. I'm your resident assistant, Richard. Ah, I'm Marshall. I know. The RA monitoring the wing will be Richard Less. Not a major suspect since he doesn't live on the wing. It's not a bad idea to get on his good side. My room and phone numbers are written on the inside cover of this book. I suggest you read it thoroughly. Failure to comply to the rules and regulations in this book will result in documentation. Got that? Yep, thanks. Oh, and there's a mandatory hall meeting at 8 o'clock Tuesday night. Be there. That's it. Spencer's at your disposal. Good luck. I know you won't have any problems on this one. Tough day? You're one of the new guys, right? Um, yeah. It is a bit overwhelming at first. Just give it some time. Okay. 
Well, you know what I've got? What? A cinnamon raisin bagel. Calms your nerves, settles your stomach. Here, have one. Um, I'm not really hungry, thanks. Come on, I insist. I got plenty more. Okay, thanks. Everybody likes bagels, right? Um, yeah, as far as I know. They say the combination of raisins and cinnamon actually releases natural endorphins in the brain, creating a general sense of well-being. Excuse me, buddy. Hamburger and mushroom, no cheese. That's me. Here you go, Phil. It'll be 4.50. Hey, Phil, your dad just called. Thanks, I'll call him later. Hey, Cole, do you know that guy? That's Phil, he's my roommate. And he eats in the bathroom? Yeah. And he's in there a lot? I suppose he is. Wasn't someone killed in there? You know, you ask an awful lot of questions. I'm all right. Uh, you know you're not supposed to be hanging that up over the light. It's a fire code violation. Well, this light is really bright. I just wanted to tone the room down a little bit. Okay, well, you know, I'm really into that groove and I don't want to harsh your karma or anything, but rules are rules. Uh, actually, if it's smaller than six by four, uh, I can help you put it up on the wall. I have my temperature right here. That's okay. I'll figure it out later. Was there something else you wanted? Um, yeah. I was wondering maybe if actually you might possibly want to come to the dining commons with me tonight. My treat. Um, I'm sorry, Richard. I already ate. You already ate, but but wait a minute. The dining commons don't open till five. Soup. I made myself some soup for dinner. Um. Uh, well, I certainly hope you did it in the bathroom. Did what? The soup. I assume you used a hot pot, and you have to do that near a water source. Fire regulations and all. I did. I made the soup in the bathroom. Okay. Um, well, I'll see you later. Um, I, you're not going to light those candles, are you? No. They're just decoration. It's that atmosphere thing again. Yeah, the atmosphere thing. Uh, well, okay. I I'll see you later. Uh, I'll take a rain check on dinner. I uh, hope it doesn't bounce. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could have been somewhere else. Is it hard to be back so soon? I just want to get on with my life. Lance is dead, and I'm still in his shadow. January 16th, 8.14 p.m. I've completed my first day on campus and I've identified almost all the suspects on the wing. It's only been four and a half years since I last attended college, but it seems like I'm completely out of touch with the types of people that surround me here. I can only make general assumptions at this point. My roommate Jacob is certainly a unique individual. His unusual interest in the occult only serves as a reminder to me that there's more to everyone here than meets the eye.
Jacob, what are you doing? What religion are you? What? Why? I just think you're really interesting. <laughs> well, I'll be interesting in the morning, okay? Jacob, what are you doing? It's my sleep music. I can't get to sleep without it. Have you tried? Well, not really. I guess I could give it a try. <laughs> what the hell is that? That's Tony. He's my good luck charm. He saved my life once. A cricket? Yeah. He pushed me out of the path of a moving car. He... Okay, well, is there any way to stop him from chirping? I don't think so. Great. Morning, Cole. Hey, and you are? Marshall. Right, Marshall. Are you sure you're in the right class? Yeah, I think so. Why? Uh, I've never seen you around before. I just transferred from uh, Potter State College. You're an acting major? Uh, not really. I just kind of dabbled a little bit. Dabbled? This is advanced classical performance. Who's up? Come on, this is an acting class. We're not gonna dilly-dally around here. You all know the procedure. I mean, you've all taken me before, right? No one's new here, right? Oh, you. Come here. We have to work with you. I want you to read that for me. The highlighted parts here? Yes, that's why they're highlighted. Okay. Never say that I was false of heart, though absence seemed my flame to qualify. As easy might I from myself depart, as from my soul, which in thy breath dost lie. That is my home of love I have ranged. Like him that travels, I return again, just to the time, not with the time exchanged so that myself bring water from my strain, all blood of kind. Hey, Cole. You think he was serious when he told me not to come back? Yes, he was. That is a 400 level acting class. People in there take what they're doing very seriously. Is the seat taken? Does an eagle take the wind? Does a dolphin take the sea? Does the bison take the prairie or open plain? So, can I sit here? Sure, go ahead. Thanks. So, how's your first day going? Well, actually, it hasn't started off too well. Oh, that's too bad. Give it some time, it'll get better. Hi, do you go, Hollyates. Hi, Richard. Do you mind if I sit here? Sure. Those two guys playing hall sports yesterday, boy, I really gave it to them. I'm so excited about this class. I heard it's supposed to be really intense. Finally some familiar faces. Hi, Jacob. Hey. Wow, these seats are cool. <laughs> so I'm chasing these two guys through the dorm because they wouldn't sign their documentation. And you figure, who knows that residence hall better than I do? I mean, they thought that they could elude me in my own domain. <laughs> Why don't you two stop by my room around 9 tonight? I'm having some people over. Cool. Sounds good. Maybe you should have an RA there, just so things don't get out of control. 
I don't really think that'll be necessary, but you can come if you want. There's not gonna be any alcohol, is there? I mean, everybody there is underage. Okay, class, welcome to English 313. This is writing poetry. Christian, right? Yeah, hi. Hi. Steve Avery? Lucky I found this place. Marshall Bennett. Here. Our dorm is so far away from everything, that's probably why no one wants to live there. Christian Brickman. Present. What do you mean? It just seems like our hallway's deserted. Well, our wing hasn't been very popular since the murder. Ron Gordon. I heard about your brother, and I wanted to say I'm sorry. Robert Hughes. If you had known him, you wouldn't be. Robert Hughes. Hey, Cole. Well, if it isn't Sir Lawrence Olivier. Do you mind if I come in? Sure, have a seat. <sighs> Do you write your own stuff? No, I just play around. Do you play? Yeah, every once in a while. Here, give it a shot. Thanks. Want a beer? Yeah, sure. Thanks. I wanted to talk to you about acting class today. Yeah. I really wasn't prepared. Man, what are you doing in that class? Well, I guess when I transferred, I didn't realize what I was getting into. Well, it's still time to drop it. Yeah, I'd rather not do that, though. I think I could handle it with a little bit of help. <laughs> well, if you really mean that, I'll help you as much as I can. But judging by your performance this morning, you're gonna need a lot of work if you wanna make it. So, how does it feel to live in a dead guy's room? Well, I'm not being haunted, if that's what you mean. You're probably the only one that isn't. Were you friends with him? Lance had only one friend, Lance. I'm studying the behavioral patterns of these animals. Why? My senior thesis project? I need it in order to graduate. I know, it just seems a little early in the semester for you to be so involved in it. Well, I just want to be well prepared. This has been sort of a personal project of mine anyway. A project of yours that I don't know anything about? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, I don't know. Uh, do you need any help with your homework? I'm not taking any math courses this semester, so I should be fine. Are you sure? Do you mind if I visit for a while? I haven't seen much of you this semester. Well, to be honest, Clayton, I really need to concentrate on what I'm doing. Having you here, I just feel like I was ignoring you. Well, I don't mind. I could just... Actually, Clayton, I really need to be on my own this time. All right. Clayton. Yeah? How does that make you feel? What? I don't know. Why? Just wondering. If you figure it out, come tell me. So Phil was in there the whole time, saw the whole thing, swear to God. <laughs> it serves him right. <laughs> so you heading over to the party? Yeah, I'm going over in a while. I'll see you there. Okay, take it easy. Do you like to laugh? Excuse me? You know, laugh, like funny ha-ha. Um, yeah, sure. Well, clear your calendar for Wednesday night at 8 p.m. at the Yankee Bear Lounge. It's amateur comedy night featuring yours truly. Uh, really? Yeah. Thanks. Bet you didn't know I was a comedic genius, did you? Um, you know, actually, Richard, when I first saw you, I thought, now there's a funny, funny guy. Really? You yeah. thought that? Oh, yeah. I'm really... Marshall, there you are. We need a fresh perspective. Is love selfless or selfish? Summer. Yes? Could you please keep the music down so that you don't okay. like... Bye. Really, really funny guy. No, 
I don't give a damn what he said. I wasn't there. No. It wasn't me. It must have been somebody else. Who said that? When? I wasn't there either. Hang on, I'll call you back. Yeah. Hey, Cole. Are you coming to my party tonight? I'll be there in a while. Is Christian there? Uh, I think she's doing laundry or studying or something like that. Okay, I'll catch up with you later. Okay, see you later. There she is. What do you want, Cole? Why aren't you at the party? I have to study. I'm planning for my future. And how do I fit into the picture? Actually, you're on the cutting room floor. Ouch. You're in a good mood. Christian, why are you hiding in here all alone? Why do you care? Somebody needs to worry about you. Thank you, Cole. But I can take care of myself. Okay. <laughs> I think it all really boils down to trust. No, you couldn't be selfless all the time. But you could be selfish all the time. Cole, is love selfish or selfless? Love sucks. Okay, that's true. Love does occasionally suck. Are you enjoying yourself? Yeah, this is great. And sometimes he'll sit on this branch right here and look right back at you. And sometimes, if you're really nice to him, he'll eat right out of your hands. Mm. Tony really means a lot to you, doesn't he? Oh, six legs and a heart of gold. Do you like my hands? don't realize that crickets are diaceous. I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> Janice. Hi, Clayton. I didn't expect to see you here. Well, I figured I could use a break. Oh, uh, great. <laughs> Summer, do you always videotape your parties? Video is poetry for the eyes. At each gathering, I usually pose a different philosophical question, and then I get the discussion on tape. I'd love to borrow some. You're welcome to. Hey, did anybody invite Robert? Who? You know, the guy down the hall, Mr. Invisible. I tried to invite him, but he's never around. Ah! Are you okay? Hey, back off. Give him some air. What's going on in here? What are you doing with alcohol in there? I'm getting complaints from downstairs. What the heck's going on? Listen, Dick. Richard. Charlie just got a little excited and faded, but everything's under control now. Well, I hope you've all learned a valuable lesson. I I better not hear any more complaints from this room and thanks, Richard. You okay, Charlie? January 18th, 2.48 a.m. My first day of classes was a disaster. I feel lost, like I don't know where to begin. I find myself thinking about Charlie Levesque one of the only suspects on the wing I haven't made much contact with yet. He seems extremely nervous, and his fainting at the party tonight only makes me more curious. Robert Hughes was also mentioned at the party. It seems the people here know as much about him as I do. I'm anxious to meet with Agent Spencer on Wednesday. Hopefully Roland will have something that will help me make sense out of the people here. I spent the evening reviewing Summer's party tapes from last semester, hoping to find some clues in the past. I found a brief image of the victim with one of the suspects on the wing, Janice Boardwell. I'm beginning to wonder if the motive I'm looking for is jealousy. I'm <laughs> 
rise and shine, sleepyhead. Jacob, what time is it? It's 7.30. Come on, get up or you'll be late for psychology. I didn't know you were keeping tabs on my schedule. Well, snappy snappy, you're not much of a morning person now, are you? Good morning. Morning. You know, if you didn't want that bagel, you didn't have to take it. They don't exactly grow on trees. Sorry about that. I guess I'm just not used to conversations through a bathroom stall. <laughs> don't worry about it. I get that sort of thing a lot. People seem to think that just because I hang out in the bathroom, I'm not normal. How often are you in here? Most of my free time. I just find it relaxing. From what I've heard, it doesn't sound like the safest place to be. I see news travels fast. I'm glad I wasn't in here that night. I can't imagine what might have happened. Well, I know who I'd want to kill. Hold on, I'm having a hard time with this. Come on, Marshall, they're both sinking. You have to choose if you want to survive. I know, but this is my first time playing God. Who did you pick? Well, in my life raft, I have the teacher, the carpenter, the scientist, the farmer, the doctor, and myself. Aren't you forgetting someone? <laughs> I don't think so. What about me? How would you be valuable? Well, I'm a good person. <laughs> that just doesn't cut it, Marshall. Thanks. Well, every member of the island has to be of some use. Did you think you were an exception? What use would you be? These people will be going through a traumatic experience. They need the help of a trained psychologist. Right. You just don't want to die. <laughs> Who does? Hey, Clayton. Isn't that your roommate? Yeah, it is. You two friends? Yeah. Well, I guess. He knows we have this class together. Maybe he didn't see me sitting here. I don't know. He seems to be keeping to himself a lot lately. Good morning, everyone. My name is Herbert Emerson. And this is math, 460, differential equations. This will be uh, primarily a lecture class. Attendance will be uh, mandatory. Uh, we will meet here uh, every Tuesday and Thursday, starting at 10, ending at 12.
Bennett here. Marshal. Yes, sir. The witness called again. He's been informed we have an agent working on campus. He's ready to talk. Meet him at 8 o'clock tonight, first floor Franklin Hall. I'll be there. Have you eaten yet? I'm starved. I can't eat with you tonight. I have to work. Hello? Yes, Mother. Mother, I think you should empty his room out. The more you go in there, the more upset you get. I understand, Mother. Yes, I know you're sorry. Look, I can't talk right now. I've got to go to work, remember? So now that Lance is dead, there's more money to spread around? Keep your money. I get by fine on my tips. Are you okay? Yeah, I gotta go. I'm gonna be late. Hey, Summer. You busy? Not too busy for you. What you got? I uh, found these in my room. I'm pretty sure they don't belong to Jacob or me. I guess they didn't clean his room out too great. I kind of looked at them. I didn't know what they were. That's OK. I'm really sorry, Summer. I didn't know you and Lance had a relationship. Apparently, neither did he. I'm Guinevere, to your Lancelot. I was so naive. You know, I've been getting the impression that not too many people like Lance. Oh, believe me, Lance had his moments. But I guess I just saw him differently than other people did. He didn't have to be perfect around me. Maybe that's what scared him away. I just wish he could have told me to my face. Told you what? He was seeing Janice behind my back. I did everything for him, and he didn't even want me. It's got to be really rough, especially now that he's gone. Well, at least now I know it's over. You'll never guess what just happened to me at the dining commons. I stepped on your cricket. No! I met this really great girl, and she started talking to me, and she mentioned she had a cricket too. And, and then she said that maybe we should get together sometime. And what did you say? He was out of the jar, and I didn't see him. I'm sorry. No, Tony, where is he? Oh, actually, Jacob, it was pretty messy. Definitely a closed casket. I guess I just wasn't destined to have pets. I'm cursed. First Bingo, now Tony. First who? My dog. Bingo is his name. Oh. You guys look as bored as I am. Hey, Clayton, come on in. Maybe you can get Jacob's mind off his cricket. Tony? You knew him? Yeah, I babysat Tony last night. He's been crushed. Oh, I'm sorry. So, Clayton, where is everyone tonight? Um, I'm not sure where Cole is. I think Summer's doing homework. Janice and Christian are both working. And Charlie, well, I don't really know where he is. I don't see much of him right now. If only I would have consulted the tarot cards, then maybe I could have prevented this. Hey, you guys want me to read your future? Sure, sure, that would be a good idea. Uh, thanks for the offer, but I've got to get going. Shuffle these cards first. And. Take a card, any card. Oh, that's just a tower. All that means is that you're gonna order me a pizza tomorrow night and we're gonna have it. Right here.
Did you see anybody come out here? No, I didn't see anyone. Call an ambulance. Charlie. Charlie!